Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you don't know me, my name is Duamel Bentley. How you doing? Uh, today, we are talking about a very interesting palette. This is actually one of the first fun toned, a uh, little bit more iridescent vibe palettes this company owns. And I'm not gonna lie, I was actually pretty intrigued. As you know, I just recently tried the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. And girl, if you didn't watch that review, show me link down below. Now, let's get into this palette because I actually have a lot to say. So the palette we're talking about today is this beautiful package we've got going on. This is the actual cardboard slash plastic it comes in. Not cardboard, but plastic, I meant to say. I don't know what I meant to say, but this is the guy that it comes in, the container. You slip her out and here she is. Beautiful inside and truly out. Oh my goodness, okay. So this is a Mercury Retrograde. This is a Mercury Retrograde by Huda Beauty Palette. This is such a beautiful iridescent color. If you guys are into iridescence, this is literally a dream come true palette. And this is just so beautiful. I haven't used anything from Huda Beauty before, but after using the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes, mama had to try a piece of that cake, honey, because the reality of the situation was that, again, if you haven't seen that video, she will be linked down below, okay? Now, let's get into the palette. This is what the palette looks like. It's such a beautiful combination between warm slash cool tones. It has everything from purples to greens. And wow, I'm just so shocked. In the back here, it tells you that you have 18 shadows, which is actually a lot of shadows, and four ready to layer textures. You have nine buttery mattes, six high shine, creamy metallics, one glitter powder, two sheer multi-reflective shadows, and you can build a base with the matte shadows and create, you know, within your own realm of making everything what you want. So, what do I think of this palette? Honestly, this is very interesting because price point is $62. This is definitely a high-end packaging, a high-end price for the palette, but does it perform to the high-end pricing? Now, let's talk really quickly about the mattes. I really, really liked the mattes. I think they have a really nice variety, and this palette you can play with anything and anyone in reality, because you have the purples to create this delicious smoky moment. You also have the neutrals, which it can go with anybody that wants to also transition into more colorful moments. It's an amazing palette for that. I honestly had such a fun time creating all the looks that I created. I will tell you this, there is a lot of shimmers that have glitter into them, so just be careful. A lot of people can be a little sensitive with that. I had experienced a little bit of the graininess on it, but it didn't hurt me or anything. I just like to tell you guys to be aware of, you know, the glitter, and this is with any palette that contains glitter. I just, out of all the palettes that I've worked with, I felt the glitters on this one a lot more. But I will tell you this, all of the colors worked incredible. The only one that I had a little bit of issue was with Vortex. I felt like when I was blending Vortex, it almost patched up a little bit and started disappearing. Something that sometimes happens with press pigments, but to be honest with you, as soon as I just patted her back in, she behaved real well. So nothing that a could spank can't fix, okay? So, wow, let's talk about this mirror. This mirror is so beautiful. Your entire face can fit in here. Hi, oh my gosh, hello. Um, and her name is engraved in the glass. It says Huda Beauty, and it has a little bit of that hologram in it. It's so beautiful. Now, packaging-wise, she went out, you guys. She really did go out. She does claim that this is the first package that, or first palette that she's, you know, gone a little bit more colorful, a little bit more creative with, a little bit more artistic. And I really do think it paid off really well for her. 
There are so many beautiful shades in here that I honestly can't pick and choose one. I think that every look that we've created, I wanted to touch on someone who's a little bit more natural, you know, using the neutrals and the golds. I wanted to also go in with a little bit more sexy purples. And of course, this super fun look. I have a little bit of Taurus stamped in there because if you don't know, Mama's a Taurus, okay? She was born in May, so. Uh, how you doing, May babies? So yeah, this is an amazing palette overall. I do believe that the quality of the palette is worth the $62. So if you're looking for something to invest that is quality, this is your girl right here. Honestly, the so many of the colors worked so well. They blended beautiful, beautifully within each other. It didn't matter if they were shimmers, mattes. Uh, one color that honestly shook my life, my eyelids were like, what, what is going on, um, was Haze. She is packed in the power. Honey, this one right here, that's one pass only, okay? She really worked her thing. And I was thoroughly surprised. I really did love this palette. I am so happy that I have it next to my collection now. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have not tried this, I would recommend you to try this because it's such a beautiful palette. And I think it's an appropriate palette for everyone that is a neutral that wants to try a little bit something more iridescent or fun or creative. This is a really easy transitional palette that works really well with every skin tone that complements every skin tone really, really well. So yeah, you guys, this is definitely Definitely approved by Dufay. This is so, it was so much fun to work with and create all of the looks that did. Plus the packaging is so beautiful. Do you see this? Oh my gosh. And this, I normally throw these guys away, but honestly, whew, mama's keeping this because it's so beautiful. Honestly, it really is. It also comes with a little message back here on how this came across and it says, embark a new journey through space with Huda Beauty, Mercury Retrograde Eyeshadow Palette. It says essentially that it has 18 gorgeous shadows uh, that develops in the four textures, the same thing that we discussed. I do think that this is very um, on trend and I really do think that she really did a great job with telling a story. It gives me a lot of like retro slash iridescent meets Mars, if like that was happening. If Mars and the moon had a baby, this would be it. So, I mean, she did really, really good. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised that um, once again, she's coming in and packing a punch in this channel. Uh, she came through again with the palette and I am so excited to try further more products from her. Uh, I also purchased the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lipstick. Packaging is so cute how this is like, holding like if it was biting the lipstick. Number one, let's talk about something. Not only packaging is beautiful, which again, I am keeping just the way it is. I really love the packaging of the lipstick. I think it looks really sleek and professional. And I really, really enjoyed putting this guy on. I feel like what I have experienced with Huda Beauty so far is she's creating an experience for her users. And I mean, I'm here for the ride. Within this lip uh, lipstick, the shade that I got was called Sheka. I'm sorry if I missaid that, but Sheka, 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 shake a little bit here, shake a little bit there, and then put the lip balm on. Well, it's not lip balm. Put the lipstick on. This is supposed to be a demi matte lip. So essentially, this is supposed to be a little bit glossy, but it does last a little bit longer than the regular lipstick. I ate, I did my thing, and honestly, this stayed on very, very well. It doesn't bleed out. It doesn't fall off. It doesn't look uh, patchy or anything when you put it on. And again, I feel like it's an experience. Number one, the smell is so fresh. I feel like it smells almost like coconut. I don't know, it just smells like coconut warmth. I really, really like the smell of this. Plus putting it on my lips, again, it was an experience because it just gives you this freshness. It's not minty, but it's so fresh. It's almost like when Beyonce steps on in front of a fan and she's like, that's how fresh it was. I really did like it. Um, I am most definitely interested in trying more lipsticks, different formulas from her. I do know she has the mattes. I believe she has some glosses. Again, I'm still kind of exploring the brands a little bit more in depth, 
but again, I really have come to enjoy every single thing that I have worked with so far. So, oh, uh, Huda Beauty, how you doing? <laughs> so, on the lipstick, this guy was $18, which I think is pretty standard. Uh, and again, for the quality of the lipstick, I think it's a really wonderful price point. This will last me a very long time because with a very little bit of it, just one dip, I was able to do my entire lips and I still had product on the, um, the doe foot. And I think it's really, really nice. Again, the shape of the doe foot it's also really convenient if you wanted to turn it around and line your lips um, and create a shape or, you know, work whatever you want to try on. I think this works really well for that as well. So I really did love the lipstick as well. And for the price point, I really think it's super, super great. I really do love it. And again, uh, this is not a sponsored video, but I would love to try more of her products. She had this incredibly beautiful dark plum brownie um, demi matte and I was like oh I need that one but I said to myself hold on pull it back get it together because you have to, I I am like you I'm talking to myself right now um, I need help so too much setting spray okay all right so um, with this one, I, I wanted to get the darker one, and I am going to after trying this one. But I said, you have so many dark ones already. Try something a little bit different. And I do have some nudes, but this is almost like a uh, mauve nudie, something delicious-y that I 100% love. So overall, I spent, let me see. Let me pull out my receipt, girl. Let me bring up the receipt. I spent $83.39, that's a, taxes included, <gasps> that is a lot of money, but I really do think that the quality of the products itself are really, really worth the price point. The only one that I had the, oh, the issue with was Vortex, but again, I feel like after I patted it back in, she works really well and this is typical this is more of a purple tone a lot of purple eyeshadows that are pressed pigments typically have the patchiness issue but again it wasn't something that i wasn't able to fix properly Alright you guys, so this palette you can get it at Ulta. Ooh yeah. Alright you guys, so this palette you can get at Sephora in person and you can actually swatch it, try it, put it on your eyes. Again, just be careful. It is a tester and some people are a little nasty. Uh, you know who you are, girl. So if you want to try it on, again, you can go to Sephora. You can also get this at Sephora.com. And you can also get this palette at Huda's actual website, which is hudabeauty.com. This palette is retailing for $67. Now that is most definitely a high-end price point for the palette, but consider it an investment because honestly with 18 shades and the way they perform, <sighs> It actually works really, really well. This is most definitely one of my priciest um, palettes, and I am actually really happy. They are saying that she charged a couple of extra dollars due to packaging, um, and I don't mind paying for the collector's item extra $2 because again, it's so beautiful uh, that I, I will not be getting rid of either or. Um, probably if it expires, I'll just keep it because it's just, again, so beautiful. Uh, even the mirror, like I said, is just has the Huda Beauty engraved with a little bit of that iridescence into it, which I think, again, those little details come to a cost, but I really do love them overall. 
all of the shades were incredible. I really did enjoy, like I said, doing all of the looks, playing around with every single eyeshadow within the looks I brought to you guys today. Every single shadow I used, I made sure to pack it on, I made sure to blend them, I made sure to really explore and understand what she was bringing to us. Because again, this is most definitely an investment piece and we're not playing with money, all right? Huda, you're not playing with our money. All right, can I get an all right, all right. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification button so you're not missing any action on this channel. We are working hard. The train is choo-chooing all the way down to Hollywood. So share, click notifications, subscribe to the channel, stay safe in this craziness, and try a little bit of color. You never know if you're actually gonna like it. Bye.